Angelo Bliss with Angie's Art Asylum. I'm going to do another pearl pour, um, but today I am going to use Deco Art Extreme Sheen Peridot mixed with a little lime green from Liquitex Basics. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the cells. I wanted it a little bit more lime. Champagne Gold. I'm using the Folk Art Metallic Pearl White and the Extreme Sheen Silver. I'm going to flood it with some Black Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic Paint and we will see what happens. So, I'm trying to figure out which. Uh, I mixed the paints, the Extreme Sheens, the Metallics, uh, one to one. Uh, one part paint, one part Floetrol. Um, I added quite a bit of water to the black. I wanted it a little bit uh, thinner than the black I used in the blue pearl pour that you should have already seen. If not, look it up on my channel. I would appreciate a view. And I'm just going to probably pour the champagne down first. Uh, we're just gonna kind of pour it down like that. I have no point in it. it's just getting it on the canvas. It's pretty thick. Now I'm going to use the silver. And this is a 10 by 20 canvas. Um, the blue one was on a 14 by 14. And I also did like a kind of pinkish color one uh, on a 16 by 20. But I did a, um, a Dutch pour blowout in the middle of it, or on the side of it, because it kind of looked weird. Hopefully this is going to be pretty cool looking. This Peridot mixed with that lime green is so pretty. pretty just like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to oh, pop these bubbles. Get my gloves on and we will tilt this out. I'm going to pour the black around my edges just a little bit. Um, just so that it covers once it hits the edges when we pour the black on top. Let's do that now. It's much thinner. So I think I'm just going to
we're just gonna tilt it off really fast. <clears throat> Hopefully get it all off. Here we go. get it under that light so y'all just gonna have to bear with me up pretty good. So we will just sit and watch it develop. Uh, I'm going to hit it with the, the heat gun and uh, it's already pretty around the edges. See what happens. I'm going to let this sit for a little while, guys, and uh, we'll be back to show you. Okay, guys. It's been about 20 minutes, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that peridot mixed with the lime green, super, super pretty. And then the it was champagne, bronze, um, came through and some of the parts in here is like just sparkling. It's really, really awesome. I hope you enjoyed it and I will do a uh, dry flyover as soon as it is dry and we can actually really see it. We will see if it continues to build, but I don't think it will. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments um, in the comment section and let me know what you think. I appreciate you being here. Talk to you then. Okay guys, so here is the dried result. Um, it's really quite beautiful. Get you in on some, some of that shimmer. Uh, I love the edges. I don't know if you can see the edges. Look at those edges. Those edges are amazing. Love them. And it's so shiny. And it turned out really fantastic. Cells just multiplied. And they didn't get wonky, which I love. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, maybe we can do some other cool colors, but this one turned out really, really awesome. Thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys following me. It's been a great journey. Um, I will see you next time. Thanks.